Markets basically stock a lot of them in ranges. Um, those strong ones are still strong, and the weak ones are still weak. The dollar is still weak. Uh, bond market strong, and we've got a revision in there uh, that uh, we put in a couple of weeks ago that really looks like it's correct now. So uh, we're going to look at that in the bond market. <clears throat> and uh, oil markets, you know, energy markets pretty much uh, stuck in a range here. Uh, the metals market strong, and um, there is a pretty good risk of a, an upside breakout coming pretty soon. So lots to look at. We'll show you that as we get into these charts. Uh, we'll get right into energy, looking at the light crude chart first. Uh, this is our cycle analysis for uh, people that are new, and uh, this is uh, a, a good look at our side-by-side -side chart. The chart on the left that you can see <clears throat> is light crude on a 10-week chart. Uh, the, char the chart on the right is light crude on a two-year daily chart. Uh, so that's uh, weekly and daily, and we, we show sometimes we show the side-by-side, -side, but you can see the cursor moving across on both charts. Uh, which gives you a sense how the cursor is then timed in there. And uh, the uh, half circles in the bottom are called cycle brackets, and we use those as guides for our cycle analysis. I'm going to blow this up now to go to the weekly only, and uh, you can see there that we're in a green zone. That's a rising phase. Oh, quite a number of weeks ago we put in the rising phase was going to be in the July to September period, and you can see that it's been in that uh, rising phase, and it brought it up from about $42 uh, up to uh, about $50, so it was uh, very powerful. And now we've been in this little corrective chop going on. That's this little minor cycle right in there, and before you know it, we'll try to rally again, and then most likely correct again. So we think we're going to be really stuck in this support and resistance zone, and uh, range bound really overall for some period of time in there before <clears throat> we get to see if there's a major breakout or a major breakdown. My guess would be next year would be better, uh, but uh, that's or beginning of uh, the the uh, somewhere in the fourth quarter would be better. Uh, but we just have to wait and see. You can see the projection out here starting in November of it uh, moving up again. So we think range bound until that time. Uh, when you look here at the daily, you can see it's really stuck also. So uh, stuck between 46 and a half and about 50 and a half. So you have two cycles that you can see in here. First of all, you can see the big one, which made a bottom right here. So here's your bottom here, and here's your bottom here. You can see that big cycle. It's made up in here of four smaller cycles, and you can see one and two and three and four. Generally, the fourth one is influenced by this decline right there, so it didn't give you much of a rally, you can see, because the bigger one was correcting. That's how we use multiple time frames. And we expected that we were going to get uh, a firmer period here for uh, oil and for the products, but generally not. You could see this uh, cycle right in here. It brought you a rally, but then this engulfing uh, dark cloud cover, and then into this corrective period. So we have a good day today based on uh, the report from the EIA, which uh, said crude supplies uh, got tightened again. That's eight weeks in a row, but you could see eight weeks in a row we haven't had all that much great uh, upside movement in here. So uh, on a short-term basis, this is your minor resistance area. Here's your 78.6. So that's where we would expect it to kind of stall in here, get a little more correction, and then over here possibly getting up to that level there. So we don't love what we're seeing here. It's not a great pattern, but not a bad pattern either. Kind of just as we say, stuck. And there's your side by side in there. We're going to switch this over to RB. You just saw the opening of one of our special member videos. If you'd like to watch the rest of that video and have access to our huge library of videos for traders and investors, just go to AskSlim.com. In fact, right now, if you write to me, Slim at AskSlim.com, I'll send you a special half price link for our entire video library. One month viewing of all of our videos, $16.50. I hope you're right to me.